May I have your attention, please? You have my attention. You can now select your default scene for go live in EVMUX. This is an EVMUX update alert. Prior to this update, if you had a pro scene enabled when you went live, it would open up program and preview windows. And in the program window, you know, the one your audience is watching, it would be blank. And you would simply click the transition button for your desired scene to be live. Now you can select from either dynamic or pro scenes to be your default when you go live. Kirk Nugent here for EVMUX, your live streaming sweet spot. And in this video, we'll show you the updated feature and some insight on how best to use it. So here we are in the EVMUX studio and we're looking at a dynamic scene just to show you where this feature is, where you can select your default scene when you go live, you simply click on the go live button in the top right here. You would click on this go live button and as soon as you click it, you'll see the regular options for go live, but you'll also see something new right here that says starting scene. So right now I have it set to dynamic, but if I click that, that scene, I can select any of the scenes that I have created, whether it's my dynamic scene or any of the other pro scenes that I've created in my studio. So that is the feature in a nutshell. But what I want to do you is show you five different scenarios um, that you would use this for, right? So our first scenario would be to use it for a flyer. Let's say you want to go live. You want to start on a show flyer, a thumbnail, a graphic uh, similar to this one. So I'm going to select this one here. This is a scene that has a flyer. You can see just the way that I format my show. This flyer is here. So this is the, the, the scene that I would like to start with. Maybe that's something similar to you. You would click on the go live, You'd select your starting scene, find that scene, which is this one, and simply select it as your default so that when you go live, that scene would automatically be the one. OK, scenario number two. Maybe you want to start your, your live stream with a countdown. So here is a countdown and that countdown is there. So maybe you want to start your, your live stream with a countdown. You would simply go back to go live, select here and select countdown. That will be the scene that your live show will start with when you go live. Scenario number three. Maybe you don't want a countdown. Maybe you don't want a flyer. Maybe you want to start with an intro and you can see here. I have an intro video again. You would go back to go live, select your starting scene and select the intro video. This is the, the beauty of naming your scenes properly so that you can select them from this list and they all make sense. Scenario number four, maybe you want to start with a dynamic scene, not a pro scene at all, right? Not a pro scene at all. Maybe you, you have your dynamic scene. You just, you just want to go live. You don't want to have to do any of the transitions. Don't want to look at program or preview. You could simply click here, go to go live, select your starting scene, and then look for your dynamic scene. Once you select dynamic scene, you're good to go. So when you go live, it will go live like this. But here is where scenario number five comes in. It's our final scenario. And this has to do with the dynamic scene. Keep in mind that the dynamic scene, unlike pro scenes, hasn't doesn't have a whole lot of scenes to select. It's literally just this one. So if you want to select your dynamic scene, you still have the ability to select, say, a flyer by simply going to overlays, putting up a flyer, let's say for your show or thumbnail, graphic, whatever, put up the full screen flyer. And when you go live, as long as dynamic scene is selected, it will go live with whatever you have on the screen at that time. And that, my friends, is the latest update. We can now select a default scene for us to be able to go live in EVMUX. There's no right or wrong here. Utilize the scenario that best meets your show needs. This was one of my update requests and EVMUX has already delivered. Awesome. awesome. If you have any update requests or feedback on this one, be sure to leave a comment below. Learn how to best leverage all the power of EVMUX from these videos.